Hello, this is Sir Sam, and welcome to Phoenix Aerolinks CLE, or Collaborative Learning Environment. CLE is Phoenix Aerolinks Learning Management System, and I would like to give you a virtual tour of our LMS. Also, I will guide you through understanding CLE by familiarizing yourselves with important icons that you will encounter here. Now to get started, you need to secure the CLE credentials provided by the school, such as your username and password. To log in, using your Google browser, type in the search engine teachnology.aralinks.net. You will be routed to the CLE login page. Then, enter your username and password. After entering your credentials, you will land on the main homepage of the CLE. The black bar of the topmost part of the page, you will see the menu doc. It consists options such as My Calendar, My Files, and My Grades. The calendar contains scheduled activities and deadlines posted by the teacher. My Files is where teachers can store or upload files to be used in creating CLE activities. Students can make use of ePortfolio as their resource and output depository. You can view scores from different activities in My Grades. A list of courses or subject scores per activity may also be viewed. The word Learn in the black bar is the Home button. Clicking it will direct you to the home page. Participate is also a button that is commonly used for extracurricular activities such as answering evaluations, conducting surveys, student elections or other activities the school wants to your kids and the school community to take part in. The search bar helps you to locate Aerolinks resources or teacher-created activities by typing in the keywords. Just hit Enter key and see if there are matching keywords. This bell is a notification bell. This notifies the students and teachers when an activity opens or ends. In this side of the bar, you will see the profile of the students. Upon first entry, it will automatically ask you to change your profile and password for security purposes. The drop-down menu also contains grades, messages, preferences, and lagout. They are adjustable and customizable according to your child's working preferences. But just the same, the default setting are already good enough. Underneath the images below, the menu bar is the course content. The timeline shows the different activities teachers post under their subjects. It also contains the dates and it opened and the deadlines. My subjects contains the subjects or courses your child is enrolled in. Here, they will be able to view the activities prepared by the teachers per subject. So those are the basic things that you need to know about CLE parts and functions. Now, I'd like you to see how interactive presentations and contents, quizzes, and icons that you need to be familiar with. These are the activities and features of the CLE. Whenever you see this purple icon, that means that the student who has a scheduled real-time text-based discussion. It is like a simple chat that you have among your friends in a GC. This is a choice. If you have an activity that has this icon, it means that there is a simple survey where a teacher wants the student to answer, usually this being used by the teacher for checking the attendance. This icon is forum. When you see this icon, it means that there is a question posted for the students to answer. Students may reply to their classmates' comments. The activity is not necessarily real-time. This icon is a questionnaire. There is a series of survey questions that a student needs to fill out when you have this icon. 
this orange icon is for quizzes. This means that the student has to review for that quiz if they see in advance in the calendar. In this tab, namely resources, if you see this red icon, it means that there is a file uploaded by the teacher. This is a label, maybe a text, an image, or a banner inserted in between activities in other resources. So these are the icons you need to be familiar with. Thank you for joining me today, and you may replay this video to master the CLE. For more questions, don't hesitate to ask your respective advisors. Just some reminders, make sure to read the instructions carefully. If you are confused, it is okay to ask for help. Talk to everyone in a respectful manner and keep your password to yourself. Connect, explore, and learn. Again, thank you and have a great day.